Hey there, I'm James Judge, and I have the account at Flipping Diaries on Instagram. Today we're at the Redesign Store here in Scottsdale, which focuses a lot on furniture and home decor. So it's a great place if you are trying to find awesome finds and great treasures to make your own home your Insta Instagram interior design dream. So why don't we go check it out? I'll show you a few of my favorite finds and see what else we come across. So the cool thing with Redesign by Goodwill focuses a lot on interior spaces. So they have some new merchandise and uh, some uh, vintage merchandise as well, we'll say. Um, one of my favorite things actually, focusing a little bit on what they do in terms of new merchandise, are these sofas right here. So these are brand new, however, they're a much more affordable price point than what you'd find elsewhere. So let's see, this, this two-piece set has a really cool mid-century modern vibe because of the tapered leg. So currently, a lot of people are hearing about mid-century modern design. It's something, of course, that was found more in the 50s and 60s, but we're seeing it now today in, in Target, at living spaces, at major retailers, and here at Goodwill, you can find some great replicas. Uh, the sofa and the love seat together are $629, so it's a really great price point for new merchandise. But the great thing and what I love most about Goodwill and Redesign is that not only can you find replications, but you can also find uh, authentic uh, merchandise as well. So why don't we go check out some of the uh, used furniture and see what we come across. So in all honesty too, I have not been through the store yet. I asked, but they would not let me. And uh, so we'll kind of fumble our way through here and see what we come across. Um, one of the things too that I think is really important to highlight is uh, with what I do in my designs is whenever I'm doing houses, whether it's for a client or for a flip, I always do staging. I think that staging is such an important part of selling a house, but also creating your own home, and it doesn't have to be expensive, and Goodwill and Redesign really helps me to make that happen. So a lot of times there'll be pieces that you can come across that maybe they're scratched, maybe they're dented or torn, but you can make them your own. Whether it's a matter of restaining them, repainting them, reupholstering them, and I think that's a really, really cool factor. So actually, um, we'll stop really quick at these chairs. So these chairs, I think, have a really cool, unique line. The arm of this, not mid-century modern, so totally forget that tangent I was going on before, um, but the actual line of the chair is really interesting. This cushion is not. So if I was to buy these, it's four chairs, each for $12.99, so that's a really good deal. So in terms of if you're doing your dining room or kitchen and you need, uh, dining chairs, these are a great price point. Um, to make them a little bit more updated, I'd honestly probably paint them or stain them to give it a more richer color. So make them a bright white or stain them a dark brown uh, and completely redo the cushion. So this, this pattern on here is, is kind of a little bit more dated. It's also not practical for a dining table chair because if you spill spaghetti or if you spill wine, both have happened which to be red, just like this cushion. But if you were to spill something on this that was not red, it would stain it. So to be able to do a leather or a vinyl cushion here would be a really nice touch and make it a lot more usable and durable. So for a total price of, what is that, $52, you'd have four great dining room chairs. So let's migrate over here. Um, okay, so back on the mid-century modern tangent. This piece right here is incredible. Um, so this happens to be uh, a, what looks to be an authentic mid-century modern piece. Uh, and what I'm looking at right here are these tapered legs. So a lot of times in the 50s and 60s, they had uh, really tapered legs, more clean lines, and they focused a lot on interesting uh, cabinet hardware. So this is something, again, that's becoming a lot more popular today. So um, this piece right here is totally a treasure. And it was made by Distinctive Furniture by Stanley. I don't know that there's a date on this, but um, regardless, this would be a piece that would be awesome to use in a home if you're trying to kind of create an eclectic look or um, playing into the really trendy style of the mid-century modern vibe today. With this piece, honestly, I wouldn't do much to it because a lot of times when I'm buying pieces from Goodwill and from Redesign, it's not also, sometimes it's about respecting the character of the furniture. So this to me, yes, it has some scratches, yes, it, it has some imperfections, but those imperfections actually add a lot of character. And that's something that I would want to preserve uh, with a piece like this that's an authentic mid-century modern piece. So, I need this in my life, uh, but why don't we continue looking around and just see what, what, what else we come across. Um, we can peek at some chairs. All right, so this chair makes me really happy too. 
Um, this chair, okay, so it's a little bit, this chair's seen some better days. Like this leg is obviously a little unsturdy. It needs to be secured, but that's an easy thing to do. You could do small pin nails and you'd never notice that this has uh, come across some hardships. Uh, but if you need a desk chair, this is a really beautiful desk chair uh, in terms of the back line of this being uh, so vertical with the swooping arm. It's a beautiful piece. Lots of nicks, lots of scratches, but again, if you do a simple repair to this front leg, you could actually take a touch-up pen. Uh, a lot of different manufacturers will make stained pens that you can actually go through and touch up the furniture. So a lot of the pieces I find at Goodwill, if I'm not completely redesigning them in terms of changing the fabric or painting, a lot of times it's me touching them up. So to give this uh, some a darker stain edge would make a huge impact. And suddenly for $12.99, you have a really great desk chair that if you were to buy this retail would be far more expensive. Uh, and as you can see here, there is a wide assortment of chairs and styles. So anytime that I'm actually doing a project uh, or staging a house, I come to Goodwill because I can find a little bit of every style. And that's a really unique thing that you can't always do in other stores. So why don't we continue our journey and see what else we come across. So this is, okay, so this is totally um, not something, I mean, if I was buying furniture right now this very minute for a, a house to stage, this is a great deal. These tables are used, it's three different tables, two end tables with a, with a cocktail table. In terms of um, history and value, like these are not special tables, but they, um, they're in really good shape. You can tell that they're used, but they're not used as heavily as those chairs just were. Um, so this would be a really simple transformation to actually take this out of the store and put it in your home. This is a weird thing to say too, especially because this is specifically for Goodwill. Uh, however, the main thing I think that's important to consider is when you take something out of the store and put it in your home, it changes the feeling of the product. So even though a piece of furniture might be surrounded by things less fortunate or less attractive or ugly, um, when you actually take it out and put it in your own home, oftentimes it looks so much more expensive and so much nicer. It's a little trick, it's a little thing, and you have to be able to see beyond that, but if you can see beyond that, a lot of times you can find treasure. Okay, now I'm really moving on. We're actually gonna go and go deeper into the store. I'm gonna get away from the chairs uh, because I do love a good chair in my life. Uh, but let's see what else we can come across. Um, it'd be nice if we can come across an upholstered piece. Uh, or cool cabinets. So again, with wood pieces, um, wood pieces are really expensive a lot of times in stores. So you end up spending a lot of money for a dining room table or end tables. But at Goodwill and at redesign stores specifically, you can find pieces that, like this entire chest is $39. That is amazing. And if you were paying full price for this, you would pay a lot more than $39. So I love wood pieces. I love the heavy things. Oh, I need this too. My favorite day to come, shouldn't even be saying this, but it's every other Saturday because they have 50% off days. And literally everything uh, of used merchandise is 50% off. The new merchandise is not always 50% off, but regardless, it's an amazing deal. So, um, all right, this is really cool. This has a marble top to it too. So again, you're, you're looking for pieces a lot of times that, or at least what I'm doing, is I'm looking for, for things that seem different. You know, what makes a beautiful home? It's typically eclectic. It's things that you collect over time. Anybody can have a beautiful home if they have money and they can pay an interior designer or go to the, the best retailers and pay top dollar and have everything just done. Um, but you can still have a beautiful home without spending uh, tons of money. And that's the key thing to focus on here. Not only are you looking for maybe new merchandise that seems like it's reminiscent of a different time, or you know treasures like some of these mid-century modern pieces but look for things that are unique so this to me is a really unique piece um, it's $29 it has a marble top and then this metal base this is not something that you would find in a normal retailer um, a lot of people would be like what do I do with this well what do you do with this you could put it behind your sofa uh, as a sofa table with lamps on it you could have it be in your entryway so when you someone's coming to your house you hang a mirror above this and it's totally making a statement piece because of the cool metal lines and the marble. Um, you know, if being that it is marble and metal based, you could also put this outside. You know, here in Arizona, uh, outdoor living is such an important factor of our lives and also uh, resale when you're selling your house. 
So to have a piece like this outside would also make a really great impact and it would be durable as a result. So, all right, I still wanna find uh, an upholstered piece that we can talk about. Okay, so right now I'm not loving some of the upholstered pieces that I see here, which is also, let's be honest, a reality because at Goodwill you never know what's gonna be here. <laughs> I think the main thing to consider too with Goodwill is that it's hit and miss. You're not always gonna find what you want and what you're looking for. It's really a treasure hunt. So today I'm not exactly finding anything I love in terms of upholstered pieces. Um, there's very few things here that have a unique line or an interesting arm or that can be, in my opinion, salvaged and made beautiful in a different way. They're great for what they are, uh, but I'm, I just personally am not drawn to anything here. Uh, if I had to pick something, which for the sake of this, I will, because this seems fun. I would actually go with this chair because I think this might be the ugliest piece of furniture here thus far. Uh, and so if you're looking at that, okay, some people would be like, God, this is gorgeous. But a lot of people, such as myself, would look at this and say, this chair is really ugly. So for $49, you can buy an ugly chair. And it's not comfortable either. In case you were wondering, it is not a comfortable chair. However, what I do like about this is the wood detailing. So, nobody's gonna buy this for $49. They're gonna wait until it's 50% off day, and then they're gonna come and buy this for $25. Um, Miss, what do you think of this chair? Do you like this chair? Or do you think it's ugly? I was listening to your conversation. It's very old fashioned. It's very old fashioned. Yeah. Do you think it's old fashioned ugly or old fashioned beautiful? You know, it was Scottsdale elegant at one day. Okay. But it's no longer that. Okay, I like it. Good yeah. feedback, thank you. So Scottsdale Elegant, I think that's a perfect terminology. In its old days, not and it's, today. Yes, exactly, in the old days. So so back in the past, this was Scottsdale Elegant. Somebody will come in here and buy this for 50% off. They'll pay $25, and for $25, this is a great chair. Again, what do I like about it? I like this detailing. So this, the wood arm on this, the wood leg. Um, the tufting in the back is also really beautiful. You know, it's a very low chair and it's very firm. So it's not the kind of chair that you want to sit in for a long time. It's the perfect chair that you have a guest over that you don't want them to stay. So you sit, set them down here and they're gonna be like, well, this is not very comfortable. It's time for me to go and they'll get the hint. Um, but if you wanted to, if this was the chair of your dreams, you could take this home, easily touch up the wood on it with a gel stain or a, uh, a magic stain pen. That would really refurbish and bring back life to the wood. And then the fabric can be reupholstered. And this is the beauty of reupholstery. And many times people are thinking, God, well, to reupholster something, it is so expensive. If you look around, there are really affordable people that do um, upholstery work. And you could probably have this chair done for about $100. Um, you know, it depends, of course, on leather and fabric and vinyl, anything you want. I mean, that will really determine uh, the price point. But you could redo this entire chair in a much more muted fabric that doesn't scream, you know, old Scottsdale, you know, you know, the Scottsdale good years of, of yesteryear. Uh, that made no sense, but I think you know where I'm going with this. Uh, and this could be a great piece. It's not the kind of piece, again, that it's, it, you're doing for comfort. It's the kind of piece that you're doing to kind of anchor in a corner or put next to a fireplace. And this is a little bit of a stretch. So at this point, why don't we go and check out some accessories and see if we can find some things, some cool knickknacks, some tchotchkes, some artwork. I mean, these are the things that at the end of the day, people probably have too much of, uh, which is why they end up here. However, at the same time, they are also the things that sometimes make a home and make it more special. Um, so anytime that I'm at Goodwill or at a redesign store, I'm kind of looking for things that stand out to me. Again, things that are special, things that are unique, things that call out and seem like something that, you know, has a story to it. Um, lighting, I've been really successful with many a times. Okay, so actually this lamp, is cool because this is a huge lamp uh, and actually the coloring isn't that bad either so if you were doing a, a kind of a transitional house this would work really well you need the topper to it but this is actually a good find 20 bucks it's cheaper than you buy at most lamps elsewhere especially if you came on 50 percent off it um so lighting oh and they have two okay and two two lamps not just one but two um so you could get two lamps and they're tall. This is a really unique lamp. If you put this on that an elegant entry table, kind of like the one we saw over there for $29, um, that would be a really cool statement when you walk into a house. Um, personally, for me, when I'm doing my home or my projects, I, I love artwork from Goodwill and from Redesign, mainly because it's completely eclectic and you have no idea what you're gonna find. 
Um, sometimes it is literally artwork that you're, you know, you're like I can't believe that this is two dollars. And other times it's artwork that you're like, wow, this is amazing. And it's either something that's original or it's something that clearly someone put a lot of time and energy into making, or maybe it was expensive from a store. Um, so let's see, let's kind of take a look at Okay, so actually this is interesting. And there's two of these. Okay, so these are something I would buy. So I'm a big fan of these. A, because you have two different prints that clearly relate to each other, so they're, they're best friends. Uh, and what I like about them is that they actually have a lot of great color, they're different, and a lot of interesting kind of texture too. Um, what I don't like about them is the frame. So the frame makes them look cheap. And they are cheap, but they're $2.99 each. But uh, I think the key thing is about looking at this, if you were to buy these and either paint the frame to solid black to hide the nicks, or go and buy an inexpensive frame at Ikea that's much larger with a bigger mat, these would suddenly look much more expensive and could be beautiful hung on a wall, making a larger impact. I like these. I'm gonna hold on to these. Okay, so. So you cannot buy these because I am buying these. However, um, let's take a gander and see if there's anything else. Like this right here, okay, so this was clearly an expensive piece of art. When somebody bought this, they paid way more than $19. But people, design is often, design changes all the time. You know, trends, styles, always changing. So clearly the style changed and somebody decided that this was out and so it ended up here at Goodwill. It doesn't mean that it's out, out. It was just out for them, which is why you can find a lot of amazing deals on pieces that were really expensive that people just got tired of. So personally, I don't usually look at a lot of glassware unless it's something that I need to fill decorative shelves. And let's be honest, if you check out my account, I use a lot of decorative shelves. So. Right now, it's really trendy to have open shelves in your kitchen. If you have a kitchen that can accommodate open shelves, then you need uh, pieces that could be functional, but also are, are catchy and attractive and really pull your attention to it. This purple swan is not one of these items, just so we're clear. No offense to the swan. I mean, the swan has its place, but not in anything I'm working on or anything that you might be working on. Um, but you know, it's the kind of thing that sometimes it's nice to have some decorative pieces that can go on a shelf. Like this is actually kind of cool. Um, this is something that if I had an open shelf in a kitchen, I'd pop it on. You know, this is clearly for an appetizer or, I don't cook, let's be honest. I have no idea what you would put in this um, because I do not cook. But I would buy this and I would put this on an open shelf in a kitchen because it has nice texture, it kind of looks organic and it would be something that would really, I think, be uh, a nice feature point because it's, it's more special than just a bowl or more special than just a jar. It has character. Um, and that's a really cool feature about what you can kind of look for and find. Okay, now we're getting into the wood accessories, which also is not something I normally frequent. Happy hour, so true, always a good thing. But we probably don't need a sign that says that. Somebody else thought the same thing, which is why it ended up here. Okay, but actually, certain things like this. This candlestick. I mean, this is a nice candlestick. Again, it's a random accessory. Do you need this in your life? Probably not. But if you're trying to put together a cool bookcase or a fireplace mantle, you know, a lot of times it's the little things that kind of pull it all together. This is a great option. It's $7. It has character. I like the lines of this. And it's something that would really stand out, too. So as you're bringing your home together, sometimes it's the little things that are important to focus on. Okay, I like this one, same reason as before. You know, you can never have enough candlesticks. That's a tag, hashtag never enough candlesticks. Overall, I think that this kind of brings us to the end of my shopping spree extravaganza. I need those chests over there, this artwork. Um, literally, there's a good five or six things that I'm gonna be walking out of here today. And I think that's a really unique thing and that's something that you can also experience when shopping at Redesign at Goodwill. So, once again, I'm James Judge. Please check out my uh, Instagram, at Flipping Diaries, and of course, follow at Goodwill AZ. So following this video, they're gonna show some before and after of my personal finds, and uh, how I transform them into being Goodwill finds that maybe have seen better days into beautiful uh, pieces that you would never imagine that I found at Goodwill. So thanks again, and make sure that you also come and check out Redesign here in Scottsdale.